Hello and welcome to yet another Swift tutorial video and this edition will explain to you how to create and connect to a tower view session using Swift as the program. So basically you can use your X-Plane or Flight Simulator uh, through Euroscope to display all the aircraft on the ground without having a secondary connection. Um, for this you need to open your Swift GUI. You go to the Connect dialog and up here at the Network uh, section you will have to create a new tower view um, network setup. Uh, if you can't see the drop-down list of Watson servers this will be uh, because Swift GUI is not tall enough so just increase the size and there you go. You see a regular list of servers for Watson and what you go to other servers and then you go to settings. The list is empty so we have to create a new one. In general server name you enter tower view or whatever you like. Description yeah, tower view all good. Server Watson FSD Watson server and here you insert the address of your computer that is running a Euroscope. Um, you can use localhost if it's the same computer or 127.0.0.1 or the IP address if you're networking. Uh, the port 6809 is correct. For real name and ID password you can insert anything you like. They cannot be empty that's all. And in the end you save it. There we go. So basically Swift is already set up to connect and um, we can now go to Euroscope. Euroscope uh, does not need to have its proxy server started to work. The latest editions of Euroscope work without doing that. So you just connect as observer or controller at the airport of your choice. Don't forget to set your visibility center to the airport. We are currently here in Milano, correction, in Torino airport in Italy. And you see it's populating the airfield. And we can have a look here in X-Plane. You see there's still the generic aircraft that are part of the scenery. And uh, now we just connect to tower view in Swift. We are connected and it will take now a few seconds for Swift to load all the aircraft and to display them. And there you go, one by one they are being injected into your flight simulator. And uh, basically that's it, you're set up, you can control and have a tower view maybe on your second screen and uh, this is possible without having a second connection to Watson because uh, Swift is just uh, drawing the data from the uh, Euroscope main connection, the primary connection you have to Watson.